the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. Man, I, 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 I own the hill. If it's just preaching to myself, the fact is that God is, has a word for every last one of us. And, and, and I, I, I encourage you, like I said, the winter church service this week. Uh, we had this study on Sunday, and we went to church service on Sunday, and the man of God was, the Holy Spirit was using a man of God to talk to you. Glory to God. I'm telling you, he's talking to us all the time because we need it, you know. And, and so what I had this week, we talked about uh, the unforgiving uh, servant. And, and, and the, the question I had for you, the title for this study, which is started with a question. And here's the question right here. Check this out. <laughs> it says, <laughs> the title is, How Can You Be Judgmental With All That Debt? That's those last two lines in this slide. The bottom line. How can you be judgmental toward other people, really, with all that debt? And when we talk about debt, we talk about sin. And so I'm trying to say is that we really need to work on working our own salvation. That's what the scripture says. Work out your own salvation. And, and let's not be judgmental to one another. But let's stop trying to sit there encouraging one another. Because we all need encouragement. We don't need to walk in condemnation. We need to walk in forgiveness. We need to walk in grace. We need to walk in mercy. He gave us mercy. He gave us grace. We should give one another grace. That's the, that's the gist of the, of the stuff, topic this week. Give mercy to one another. Forgive one another. Because that is what he wants us to do. That is what he did for us. God so loved the world, John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And we use the Lord's Prayer and we talk about it in the Lord's Prayer that he forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt towards. We have to be able to give, forgive one another. Because we walk in together. And most of us have accumulated debt prior to coming to the kingdom. And we accumulate debt in the kingdom. Some of you sit there and act like you don't. You're lying. But the Bible says in John, we put that in our title today, that if you say you're not in sin, you are a liar. Because we know the scripture said all of sin comes short of so this study is about the fact that don't be judgmental one another, but let's encourage one another to do right. Let's encourage one another to change. Let's encourage one another, but give each other grace and mercy. That's the gospel, and that's what you're called to do. Give mercy. Give mercy to one another. Love one another. Preach the good news, not the bad news. You, you're not called to hurt somebody. You're called to love one another. Amen. God bless you. I hope you like this message. We'll break it down into part A, B, C, D, or whatever it takes to finish it. But you'll love it because I love it. And I love you. God bless you. And we'll see you. And we'll see you. Enjoy the video. Amen. You know, uh, good morning. I want to say I hope everybody had a great weekend so far. Coming off of the Memorial Holiday weekend. And now we moved into uh, the month of June. And and I mean, it just, you know, I, get, I think as you get older, time goes faster. Uh, <laughs> so for me, it's, it's like, wow, we're already halfway through the year already. Uh, 
what, as, as we go, and if we, whether I get slides or not, um, by fact, I do have something else that I could show in the interim if I have to. But God is good because he always got a ram in a bush if, if you need one. Uh, <laughs> and I, I'll make sure I use that as my backup. I got, I got the other one, I got an electronic Bible that I use. And, and one of the things is that the, uh, this, it allows us to, to continue to uh, work and discuss the gospel. You know, I, I wanted, and another thing too, my, my slides were all jacked up. But the title was said, How Can You Be Saved with All That Debt? And then I was thinking maybe to change it to be, How Can You Be Judgmental? With all that debt, because that, that really that's that's really the, the, the gist of it, isn't it? Because you get first of all, most of you feel that well, I can't just I'm like, I keep sinning, so I'm not saved. And then there's some of you who say save and that you but you you, you want to kill people, uh, oppress people, uh, ostracize people. Uh, and, and then I keep thinking about the, the history uh, of, of this country um, when it comes down to uh, <laughs> when it came down to the slavery. I know some people, I don't want to hear about that. I understand. I, I totally understand that because it, it, it's, it makes, it paints a different narrative, doesn't it? It paints a different narrative. And when, when it paints a different narrative, of what you want, when it paints, when it makes you look, um, let me see here, when it makes you look like you, you know, that you, you got your act together, but in reality, you, you don't have your act together. Uh, we, we, you know, we didn't have our act together when we came into the gospel. You know, you, you, you know what I mean? You, you did. Um, let me see. I'm, I'm, while I'm talking at the same time, let me see if I can change the slide. I think it wants me to save it first. So let me see if I can save it. Um, but I think I'm going to change it. I, my, my title is How Can You Be Saved with All That Debt? And, and I think a lot of people ask that question, right? How can, how, can, how can God accept me, accept a, a person who don't, who still have numerous strongholds in our life? And, and, and I tell you, let me see, let me see if I can change this title. Right? Can you be judgmental? Let me see if I can put that in there. <laughs> put that title in there. <laughs> so, so a lot of cases, we 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 think that the that we think is it's okay. Uh, to, to condemn ourselves and to reject ourselves from salvation because we, um, let me see if I got this right here too. I'm almost finished. Um, I don't think, let me see, one of the things I'm doing, like I said, I was trying to change the title, but like I said, the title I was looking at was, how can you be judgmental with all that debt? And, and, and I think it's important to talk about that because so many people have used our faith in God through Yeshua. Yeshua, just in case those who don't know, Yeshua is the Hebrew name for Jesus. The, the, the question is, 
mercy and grace allows you to receive eternal life. Last week we were talking about how can you uh, inherit eternal life. Well, the thing is, because of mercy and grace, it, it, I'm going to tell you something, I think, and not only I think, I know that many people cannot um, actually put you down when it, when it comes to uh, who you are, who you were, and who you are. You know, one of the things I like about the scripture says that be, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable will of God, right? In other words, the, the whole intent is to prove that you prove your that you you are acceptable to God, not to man. And I, I want, I think that's going to be the general theme for me anyway, is to always talk about the fact is we focus more on being approved by ourselves and among ourselves instead of being approved by God, seeking by God. You, you, you know where I'm coming from? It's, 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 it's we, we, we jack up. And, 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 and we, I think we do it on purpose, some of us. I'm talking about the woes of people who have received, who said they have received. Look at it now, too. I think that's important, too. Because I know one of the uh, uh, books, some of the historical books uh, uh, of people talking about you know, black history and so forth, uh, the guy was saying, says, so-called blacks or so-called Jews. And, and, and I guess what I'm saying is, so-called Christians, right, uh, have gone out of their way to uh, burn people, ostracize people, and, and, and join up with bad people. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, uh, there's, 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 how, how can, you know, what the scriptures are, well, how can you have fellowship with Belial, right? Uh, and Belial is some pagan god that used to do things uh, that cause, you know, it's basically a pagan religion. Uh, and, and it did some, required a lot of sacrifices, uh, worshiping idols and so forth. And, and how can a person here in modern day time, 2023, uh, Say that you're righteous, but you affiliate yourselves. I'm talking about affiliate yourself uh, on the same bandwagon <laughs> as as people as hate, as as with hate groups. And, and then then you then you even uh, try to sometimes label something as hate while you you actually need somebody who does hate. What do you mean? Okay. Well, if if you hate people. <laughs> Because of the color of the skin, because of their immigrants, because of their, you know, and, and look, if you hate people because they got different orientations, but you say you are a believer in, in God, right? Um, does it does that have a tendency to be a contradiction about the hate part? You can be affiliated with people who hate. You can be affiliated with a hate group, but you but you you also say you you're a believer in Christ. And, and and yet you know the doctrine of Christ, the commandment that Christ gave. Even the John 3:16 said that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life, right? Type of the same at the same time. Uh, yeah, I got it. I got it. And have everlasting life. He said Christ gave the, the, a new commandment first. That, that new commandment is found in, in uh, John 13 34. 
you get a chance, look it up. In John 13, 34, Jesus said, New commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that you love one another. Verse 35, John 13, it says, And all men, or men will know that you are my disciples, for the love that you have for one another. That, that's the new commandment that Christ gave us, Yeshua gave us, Jesus gave us. People who are in Christ, if you be in Christ, right? Christ even said one time to John, when they wanted to stone him, and they said God was their father. Jesus said, God was your father, you love me. Now that, that, that was interesting because the fact is that Christ came as the son. Talking to the children of Israel, the chosen people. And, and I think sometimes they forget, what are you chosen for? Well, the, the, the bottom line is, their brothers and sisters, right? That were in the covenant, being Jews or being Hebrews, they were brothers, right? And sisters. And he said, is, if you love me, if you hate, if, you know, if God, if we, we're God's chosen people, so why would you want to kill me if, why would you want to kill me? Because you should love me. That was in John 8, chapter 8. It was talking about the fact that they want to stone Jesus, right? And he said, if, if you love me, you if you if, if God is your father, then you love me. As a believer, if you are a believer, if you be in Christ, then you should love one another. If you be in Christ, you shouldn't be judgmental of one another. Because you, if you're being judgmental of one another, then how can you? And that's what the title is. So let's look at the title before we go into the Lord's Prayer. Let me let me show you the title. I'm working on what we was talking. So now now we got it up. So let's go ahead and show the title. The title, as you, as you can see, it says. How can you be judgmental with all that debt? And what debt are we talking about? We're talking about the sin that has easily been common toward you and me. In other words, we all have sin. That was the scripture says, right, in Romans uh, chapter 3. Um, where it says, all of this sin that comes short of the glory of God. All. Not, 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 not one. Not few. Not most. All. Have sin that comes short of the glory of God. If you are, if you were, <laughs> a sinner. And by the fact, don't forget this other scripture said that Christ said he came to save the ungodly. So most of us, all of us, because I don't know any of us, that were not ungodly. If you, when you sit there and you talk to some of the people who call themselves and have, have arrived, especially have gone through life and, and then done some 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 things, they, they, when you listen to people who sit there and believe and show and get up in the front of the church and sit there and say that they got the act going on, that they have the right to be judgmental when they sit there and, and you ask them about their life. When they sit there and, and tell you about their life, what they gonna, you know what they're gonna find? You're gonna find out that they have sinned. Because the scripture said all of sin that comes short of the glory of God. Because I'm saying that, I'm saying is, why would you take up the, 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 the banner of being judgmental towards your fellow man when you yourself have had and have issues. Well, and, I, and I think it's, it's like, and then other people sit there and try to, sometimes people try to treat you different based on the title that you have 
or based on the fact that the gym uh, our senior or so forth, that we believe that other, some people can be judgmental. And, and, and the only thing, though, that the threat of that is that you run people away from the ministry. And on top of that, you run yourself away from the ministry. You're judgmental yourself. You act as if the, the, the Christ didn't come to save the ungodly. You act as if you were not ungodly. And then some of you sit there and say, well, I'm still ungodly. Well, he's that much more he came for you. Because, you know, the scripture says, so, that, so the title again is, how can you be judgmental with all that death? How can you? But yet people are, right? People, people are judgmental. And, and to the degree that some people have been so judgmental, when we look at the history, I'm, I'm, I have to use the, I have to use the day, this world, this system, as part of uh, the gospel to show the contrast of the gospel and the behavior of people being so-called or being said they're Christians. See, and, and, and it's funny that the enemy does is that he's so busy, he wants you to be a combination. He wants you to condemn others and end up condemning yourself. And you know why you're going to condemn yourself? It's because you're going to make mistakes. Just like I'm going to make mistakes. And therefore, I sit there and I be judgmental, sitting there trying to determine who's going to hell and all that other stuff, who's saved and all that other stuff. And then find out that you have made mistakes yourself or you will make a mistake. And then when you make a mistake, what do you do? Do you, do you now judge yourself? Think about it. Do you judge yourself now? Because you already judge others. You already put others down. So when you make a mistake, what do you do when you make a mistake? What do you do when you end up judging yourself, right? When you judge, find out that you're being judged, you're being, you, uh, I would just say, you know you're doing something that is most likely contrary to the will of God, contrary to the law of God, and yet you judge, you condemn somebody else you ran somebody else off. What do you expect people? Because look at we look at people that, that are ministers that get caught, right? Either in adultery or in uh, stealing or lying or cheating in some form or fashion. Uh, what, 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 what do you think a lot of cases in, in, in ministry then, what do they do? So they'll come to say, well, I need your forgiveness. And, and, and rightfully so, you should be forgiven. I don't care about somebody sitting there saying you shouldn't. But I do care about the fact is that you preach unforgiveness. You preach judgmental. When we all need to be able to live and build each other up. You know, your fivefold ministry gifts are they equip the saints to do the work of the ministry. And the fact is that we're supposed to edify. So let's learn to edify the Bible, the body, the body of Christ, instead of being so judgmental toward yourself and other people. I'm sorry, I have not arrived. And I know you haven't arrived. But you know, maybe it takes a while for you to accept the fact that you have not arrived. But I'm telling you that I haven't arrived, and I know you haven't arrived. I know you got this. I know you have you you got the humanity side. The cardinal side of you that you struggle with every day. We all do. That's why we walk in grace. One of my friends, like I say, just didn't say, you just can't keep on sinning. I don't know what you mean. Because the fact is, when you think about it, who does not keep on sinning in some form or fashion? A liar. You got somebody who's a fornicator or an adulterer, right? And, and, and yet, they 
and Christ has forgiven them, and Christ will forgive them. But you can't sit there and run away from the body of Christ because you judge yourself as unworthy. You weren't worthy in the first place. Oh, before I go, don't forget, subscribe, man, a woman. <laughs> if you like the video, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. If you like it, you want to make a comment, go ahead and do that as well. Let us get right. Let's make sure we're doing the thing that makes a difference and preaching the gospel we feel called to do with the commission. But to give energy and to keep building up on this platform, subscribe. And also make a comment if you like. If you don't like it, go ahead and do that too. It's all right. I'd rather hear from you. And that's all I'm doing. What I'm called to do what he told me to do. So God bless you and I'll see you later. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.